Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. Now I'm going to start the problems on retirement of a partner. So far we have done so many problems on admission of a partner. So what are the difference in the problems regarding admission and retirement? Many similarities are there like revaluation. Whatever we have done regarding revaluation account, the same techniques, the same procedure we will follow in retirement of a partner also. But in admission of a partner, a new partner will bring goodwill. Whereas in the case of retirement of a partner, what we have to do is we have to give the share of goodwill to the retiring partner and we will not raise the goodwill. We adjust the goodwill account, goodwill amount in the capital account of the partners. The partner who is retiring, that partner's capital will be credited and the partners who are I mean, remaining, those remaining partners capital account will be debited, right? So uh, this is the new, uh, new point and apart from that, the amount due to the retiring partner will be transferred to retiring partner's loan account. So these few differences are there but almost the procedure is same. So now I am going to start the 18th problem which is the first problem on retirement. So before starting the 18th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot of the 18th problem points, then I'll explain. Now, see the 18th problem. The balance sheet of A, B and C sharing profits in the proportion to capital stood as follows. That means the profit sharing ratio is the capital ratio. So capitals are 20,000, 15,000, 15,000. So 20 is to 15 is to 15. Or we can say 4 is to 3 is to 3. That is a capital ratio and that is the profit sharing ratio. Liability side creditors general reserve. Remember, in the case of admission of a partner, we have transferred the general reserve to all uh, to the old partners. But in this case, at the time of retirement, the general reserve will be distributed among all the partners, including the retiring partner. Then capital accounts are given. Cash at bank, debtor, stock, machinery, fixture. On that date, that means on 31st December. On that date, C retires from the firm and for this purpose, goodwill of the firm has been valued at 18,000. So already calculated, they have given the value of the goodwill 18,000 at the time of retirement of C. Stock has been revalued 20,000. What is the balance sheet value of stock? 15,000. That means we have to increase the stock by 5,000. Stock account debit, revaluation account credit. Machinery at 15,000. The book value of the machinery is 25,000. From 25,000, we have to bring down to 15,000. That means 10,000 rupees machinery should be decreased. So, machinery account should be credited. Revaluation account debit, machinery account credit. Fixtures at 10,000. The book value of fixture is 2,000 only, but we have to make it to 10,000. So 8,000 fixtures have to be increased. The entry will be fixtures account debit, revaluation account credit. And a reserve of 3,000 for doubtful debt has been agreed to be created. A reserve for doubtful debt has to be made. So entry will be revaluation account debit, reserve for doubtful debts credit. Pass the journal entries to give effect to the above and show the balance sheet of A and B after C's retirement. So we are required to pass the journal entries and we have to make the revaluation account, partner's capital account and then we can make the balance sheet of A and B after retire of retirement of C. So before that, first of all, we will calculate what is the share of goodwill of retiring partner C. Here, Profit sharing ratio is given as capital ratio. The capital is 20,000, 15,000, 15,000 or we can say 
20 is to 15 is to 15. All the three values are divisible by 5. 5 4 is a 20, 5 3 is a 15, 5 3 is a 15. So instead of writing 20 is to 15 is to 15, it is convenient, it is sim simple to take it as 4 is to 3 is to 3. This is the profit sharing ratio. Goodwill of the firm is 18,000 given in the problem. Now, share of goodwill of retiring partner. Because we have to adjust the goodwill only to the extent of retiring partner. The whole firm's goodwill is 18,000. But the retiring partner is C. What is the share of C? 3 by 10. 4 plus 3 plus 3 is 10. So 3 by 10 is the share of C. So 18,000 into 3 by 10, it comes to 5,400. That means share of goodwill of retiring partner C is 5,400. Now his capital, C's capital should be credited by 5,400. Now which account is to be debited? We are not raising goodwill because goodwill accounts, uh, goodwill amount will be adjusted in partner's capital account. Retiring partner's capital should be credited by 5,400 and remaining partner's capital should be debited. How, how they will share this 5,400 in the new profit sharing ratio? Now see here, when C retires, the new profit sharing ratio of A and B will be 4 is to 3. See here, C is retired. That means the share of C will go away. Now the remaining share of A and B will be 4 is to 3. The new ratio is 4 is to 3. So therefore, share of goodwill of C will be adjusted in capital account of continuing partners A and B in the ratio of 4 is to 3. Now this goodwill amount 5400 will be credited to C's capital and debited to A and B in the ratio of 4 is to 3. So how much A and B will get here? A is equal to 5400 into 4 by 7. It comes to 3086. Similarly, 5400 into 3 by 7, it comes to 2314. That's it. Now we'll come to the journal entries regarding the revaluation and goodwill. See here. First of all, uh, stock. Uh, goodwill has been valued at 18,000. We have done. Stock has been revalued 20,000. The balance sheet value of stock is 15,000. The 5,000 stock has to be increased. Stock account debit revaluation credit. Stock account debit revaluation credit. Apart from that, fixtures. Fixtures, the book value is 2000, but the new value is 10,000. So 8,000 rupees fixtures have to be increased. So entry will be fixtures account debit revaluation account credit. So two assets we are increasing. Stock we are increasing and fixtures we are increasing. So we debit. Stock account debit 5,000, fixtures account debit 8,000 to revaluation account 30,000. You can pass separate entries or you can combine. In both cases, revaluation account is created. Being the stock and fixtures increased, being the value of stock and fixtures increased. That is the narration. Now, secondly, uh, the two assets, machinery account has to be decreased. The book value of machinery was 25,000. But we have to make it 15,000. 10,000 machinery has to be decreased. So machinery account should be credited. Revaluation account debit, machinery account credit. And apart from that, a reserve for doubtful debts has to be created. So entry will be revaluation account debit, uh, reserve for doubtful debts credit. So two times we have to create. Revaluation account debit, machinery account 10,000 credit and reserve for doubtful debts 3,000. Total 30,000. Being the value of machinery decreased and reserve for doubtful debts created. That is the entry. Now, general reserve is there 10,000. So, at the time of retirement of a partner, if any general reserve is there, that will be distributed among all partners A, B, C in the old profit sharing ratio. Right? The old profit sharing ratio is 4 is to 3 is to 3. 10,000. General reserve account debit 10,000 to A's capital to B's capital to C's capital. 10,000 into 4 by 10, 4,000. 10,000 into 3 by 10, 3,000. 10,000 into 3 by 10, 3,000. 
being the general reserve shared by all the partners. Next comes goodwill. The goodwill amount has to be adjusted. How much goodwill is to be paid to the retiring partner? 5,400. So 5,400 should be credited to cease capital. And the debit will be given to the remaining or continuing partner. The continuing partners are A and B. So entry will be A's capital account debit to B's capital account debit to C's capital. So how will they will share? 3086 and 2314. Being the goodwill due to retiring partner adjusted in the capital accounts. That is the narration. Now last one. Last entry is whatever amount is due to retiring partner C that will be transferred to his loan account. That means he is no longer a partner. When he is no longer a partner, the amount should not be kept in capital account. Capital account, only partner's capital should be there. When C is no longer a partner, his amount to due will be transferred to loan account until it is paid off. Once if it is paid off, his name will not appear in the books. Right? Till the time it is not paid off, the entry will be C's capital account debit to C's loan account. How this 23,400 will come? By preparing the capital account, we come to know that 23,400 is the amount due to retiring partner C. Narration being the amount due to retiring partner transferred to his loan account. That's it. Now we'll come to the capital account. So at the beginning, that means at the time of retirement, the capitals of A, B and C are 20,000, 15,000, 15,000. So here I have taken by balance brought down 20,000, 15,000, 15,000. Now general reserve. In the entries you can see here, general reserve account debit, A's capital, B's capital, C's capital are credited. So capital account credit side, general reserve. How much? 4,000A, 3,000B, 3,000C. Right? The next is adjustment of goodwill in the capital account. C's account should be credited by 5,400. C's account should be credited by 5,400. Opposite name is A's capital, B's capital. So in C's capital credit side, A's capital 3086, B's capital 2314. If you add up these two, you will get 5,400. So 5,400 is credited in the account of retiring partner C, right? Now remaining partner or continuing partner's capital account should be debited. So debit side you can write on C's capital. Opposite of A and B is C. So here you should write on to C's capital, A column 3086, B column 2314. Here I have taken 3086, 2314. Now, we have to find out how much is the amount due to the retiring partner and that should be transferred to his loan account. So here you can see C. For C, the total on the credit side 23,400. The total on the credit side. That will be transferred to his loan account. So here 23,500, here loan account. The entry will be C's capital account debit to C's loan account. So C's capital account debit, the so debit side to C's loan account 23.4. Now his account is, capital account is closed. C's capital account is closed. Now remaining A and B. A's capital debit side total 24,000 from 24,000 deduct 3086. 20,914 is the capital of A after adjustment. So carried down, brought down. In the balance sheet, we will take A's capital and B's capital, the new values. Similarly, B, total is 15,000 plus 3,000, 18,000. 18,000 minus 2,314, 15,686. So we got the capital accounts of A and B after adjustments. Now, finally, we have to make the balance sheet. By seeing the old balance sheet, we can easily convert. Old balance sheet, creditors. We have not changed the creditors. So earlier 30,000, now also 30,000, no change. But general reserve will not come because we have distributed general reserve among all the partners. But apart from that, one new liability has come. 
that new liability is C's loan account. The amount due to retired partner C is transferred to his loan account. And loan is a liability. So C is loan 23,400. Now capital account of A and B just now we have calculated 20,914 and 15,686. Liabilities owed. Now come to asset side. Cash at bank 13,000. We don't have any transaction affecting cash. You can see here, there is no transaction cash or bank has come. That means the bank balance will remain same. Cash balance 13,000. Same 13,000. No change. But next one, debtors. 35,000 rupees are the debtors. We have created reserve for doubtful debts. You can see here, reserve for doubtful debts, 3,000 we have created. So reserve for doubtful debts will be deducted from debtors. So here 35,000 minus 3,000 will get 32,000. Next comes stock. Stock value was 15,000 and we have reduced the stock value. No, no, increase the stock value because we have debited. Debited 5,000. So here 15,000 plus 5,000, 20,000. This is the stock 20,000. Machinery. Machinery value was 25,000. We have brought down, we have decreased the value of the machinery. Machine value was created by 10,000. So 10,000 less, the machinery value will become 15,000. 25,000 minus 10,000. Fixtures. The value of fixtures was 2,000. But fixtures have been increased to 10,000. 8,000 fixtures have been increased. 8,000 fixtures have been increased. So 2,000 plus 8,000. 10,000 is the fixtures. That's all. So we have taken all the values, find out the total on the debit side and credit side, oh, sorry, liability side and asset side. Liabilities total 90,000, assets total 90,000. So this is the balance sheet of continuing partners A and B after the retirement of C. So this is the first problem on retirement of partner. Inshallah, we'll continue the next problem in the next video.